So you're thinking of moving to Charlotte, North Carolina and the surrounding areas of Charlotte, and you want to know what the pros and cons are of living in North Carolina or particularly in Charlotte. Well, I've got a new updated pros and cons video, and that's coming up right now. My name is Eli Maggots, and I'm a real estate advisor here in Charlotte, North Carolina and the surrounding areas of Charlotte, including South Carolina specializing in luxury homes and new home construction. But most importantly, I am your realtor with heart. I'm not trying to sell you a house, but here to help you find a home and a lifestyle that you and your family are gonna love. And I'm probably the only guy who's got a lizard shirt in all of Charlotte. If you think that you and I are a good fit, please feel free to reach out. My contact information is down below. If you like this video, please go down and hit the red button and subscribe. Stay tuned to the end where I'm going to give you a free online guide that's going to tell you all about Charlotte and the schools. So pros and cons of living in Charlotte, North Carolina. Obviously the world has changed in the last couple of years. Last three years, things have really changed here in Charlotte. So I'm going to give you my best rundown of the pros and cons. So for most people, a big pro for living in Charlotte, North Carolina or in North Carolina in general and the suburbs of Charlotte is the weather. Weather is pretty much ideal in the fall, the winter, and the spring. Summer is hot, hot for me. Some people don't see that as a con. I see that as a con. Rest of the year is a big pro. This year was unusual. We had actually three measurable snowfalls, which is pretty unusual for us here in Charlotte. Typically we'll get one, maybe two. Very small, it melts away. Spring is magical, fall is magical, summer is hot, but I may be the only one who doesn't like the heat. I have lots of people who love the heat. Uh, my couple from Bermuda, they revel in it. So it all depends on how you look at it. For me, the heat is a con, rest of the year, perfect. Another con for me, which is not necessarily weather related, is because it's so beautiful and lush here in Charlotte, you do have a season where you have a lot of pollen. You have about two or maybe three weeks at the end of March, beginning of April, where there's pollen all over the place. Makes for beautiful, beautiful landscapes. But if you're a pollen hater, that's a con. Another pro for living in the Charlotte metropolitan area, and this is a big pro for many people, are the property taxes. Property taxes in Charlotte and the surrounding counties, actually the surrounding counties in Union County and in parts of South Carolina and parts of North Charlotte, where it goes into Iridale County, are actually lower than the taxes in Charlotte. But the taxes are phenomenally inexpensive when compared to other major cities. New York, New Jersey, California, Illinois, you name it, taxes here are ridiculously low. Now you could be coming from another part of the country where your taxes are very low and you move to Charlotte and say, hey, Eli, those taxes are not low. But for majority of the people coming into Charlotte, taxes are really, really affordable. Now another pro is that people are moving here to Charlotte from all over the country, all over the world. I get most of my phone calls from people from New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, California, seems like everybody's leaving California. Uh, getting calls from people from Illinois, Michigan, Minnesota, people who are sick of the freezing cold. That's where I'm getting most of the influx of people coming from. Now the beauty of that is that a lot of us are not originally from here. We become nicer than we used to be, especially me from New York, but we all become nice. We all become a big melting pot and it kind of reminds me of being back in New York. You've got people from all over the world as well. Everybody here is welcome. Another pro for people who are moving from outside of the Charlotte area coming into Charlotte is that there is, in my experience, now I can't really say this for sure, but there is a very large representation of people of all age groups. So you've got the younger people who are working in the high tech industry. 
You've got the people who are getting married and having kids and families. You've got people whose kids have gone to college or graduated from college and are looking to still work, but want to kind of settle down a little bit in a different area. And then you've got retirees, of which there are many, many retirement communities here in Charlotte. So there is something here for everyone. Whether you want a, an eclectic neighborhood where there's an alternative lifestyle, if you want a neighborhood that's completely walkable, if you want a fancy schmancy neighborhood that's gated, if you want to golf, if you want to live on a lake, whatever you're looking for, I'm going to be able to find it. And that's a huge pro because there's so many different areas in which you can live and find that niche for yourself, that place where you feel very, very comfortable. Along with the influx of people from around the country and around the world comes an influx of new food. There has been a boom of sorts as far as new dining options here in the Charlotte area. More restaurants, more different types of developments are coming in. Things are being built. One such example is a place called Optimist Hall where they took a warehouse and they made many, many small restaurants. Optimist Hall has a multitude of different foods from around the world from which to choose from all under one roof. In addition, there are new waterfront developments coming along in Ballantyne, which is gonna have an amphitheater and more restaurants. There's gonna be a development being built on the Catawba River. So there's a tremendous influx of restaurants, different food, and different venues coming into the Charlotte area. So we know that Charlotte is one of the fastest growing cities in all of the United States. Along with that growth is come a boom as far as new growth in industry. There are many new high rises on the table and currently being built in uptown Charlotte. Honeywell has just moved their headquarters here into Charlotte and built a beautiful new building. Lowe's Corporation has built their worldwide control center here in the South End area of Charlotte. Great for high tech jobs. The South End of Charlotte is now becoming almost as popular as Uptown Charlotte. It's gonna be maybe even bigger than Uptown Charlotte at some point. It is growing so quickly. So because of the new industry, this place is exploding. That's on top of the fact that Charlotte is still the country's number two banking center after New York City. And we also have a burgeoning biotech industry and a high tech industry. Now talking about Charlotte being a major city, while size-wise we're considered a medium-sized city, obviously we're still growing. We're considered like an 18-hour city versus like a New York City, which is a 24-hour city. But don't let that fool you. This city has everything. We've got pro football, right? The Panthers. We've got a new pro soccer team. We've got pro basketball, right? We've got the Charlotte Hornets and Michael Jordan. We've got a beautiful minor league baseball stadium, Uptown Charlotte. And we have tons of music venues. We have venues where like Billy Joel is coming in to Bank of America Stadium. Nelton John is coming in and the Rolling Stones were just here. And we have the Spectrum Arena where you have people like, I don't know, like a Taylor Swift will be playing in the Spectrum Center we have uptown, outside amphitheaters for music. We have Broadway shows. We've got music. We've got ballet. We've got everything. We've got museums too. And the uptown area of Charlotte is very usable, walkable, and very approachable. Maybe six or seven city blocks long like compared to New York City, but very usable, very drivable. And it's an absolute pleasure to go uptown to see something that comes into a Broadway show or a musical venue. It's very, very convenient. Another big pro for many people, or con, depending on how you look at it, is we're about an hour and a half away from the mountains and Asheville and Boone, where you have snow and you have the gorgeous Blue Ridge Fountain Parkway. And then you have three hours where you can get to Myrtle Beach or three and a half hours to get to Charleston or Hilton Head. Another very popular place is Kiowa Island. 
So that's about three, three and a half hours to get there. Now some people want to be on the beach, right? Um, but we don't have the beach. The advantage of that is that when there are hurricanes, when there are storms that are coming in offshore, when they finally get to Charlotte, they are very, very mellow in comparison. We may get heavy rain, get some wind, but you're not gonna have the hurricanes, you're not gonna have the crazy tornadoes. It's pretty safe as far as natural disasters are concerned. No mudslides, no fires, none of that stuff. So another major pro for living in the Charlotte metropolitan area is the airport if flying is important to you. Charlotte is a very, very important hub for American Airlines. It's their second largest hub. Charlotte Douglas International Airport is the seventh busiest airport in the world based on takeoffs and landings. So it's the seventh busiest in the world based on takeoffs and landings because American Airlines is going up and down, up and down, up and down, right? That is great because if you want to get anywhere in the United States, there is always a flight going somewhere that you need to get to. For me, very convenient to get down to Florida where I had to help my in-laws. Very convenient for me to get back to New York so I can see my mom and my family and my sister. Very, very convenient. If you want to get out to California, whatever it is, it's just a lifeline. For me, it's the beating heart of Charlotte. They have spent billions of dollars upgrading the airport. It is absolutely gorgeous inside. It is beautiful. You can park your car at the parking spot, which is right outside the airport, and they pick you up in a little van and they take you to the airport. Or you can valet park your car, which I've done on many occasions, right at the entrance to the terminals. It is a world-class airport. They've expanded the runways. They've added runways. It is the beating heart of Charlotte. Now, the beating heart of Charlotte makes this place run, but there is a con to this airport. And the con is, is because American Airlines has a stronghold on it, prices are controlled kind of by American Airlines. Now there are others, there's JetBlue and United and Delta, but American has the majority of the flights. So you're kind of at the mercy of American Airlines. The other con to the airport is the lack of international flights. So there is direct flights to Germany because we have a lot of German companies that are located here and there are direct flights to London. But the only way that you're getting anywhere else is that you're going to have to switch flights. Either you change in Germany or London to get to a place in Europe or you're going to have to fly down to Dallas or to Atlanta or fly to New York. I grew up in New York right by Kennedy Airport. So for me, I was spoiled. You get on a flight, you go. So if you do a lot of international traveling, that may be a con. You don't have the exact direct routes that you would have from let's say a New York or a Los Angeles. So you're asking Eli, that's a lot of pros. What about some of the cons? Well, I gave you some of the cons, but I'm gonna go in depth a little bit about the cons. Here we go. Now at this point, one of the cons, which was a pro before, is there is an increase in the number of people and therefore an increase in the traffic. Now traffic is still not bad in comparison to most places, but I have found in the last three or four years, there is definitely an increase in traffic. There has been an increase in building, new shopping centers, and the highways are definitely crowded from let's say 7.30 to 9 in the morning and from about, I don't know, 4.30 to 6 in the evening. Now the two major highways here, 485 and I-77. I-77, they have completed two new express lanes. Those are toll lanes. So if you want to pay the toll, you got to pay to play, you can fly on those toll lanes. I-485, they have not finished the toll lanes yet, but they're almost done. So those areas that back up a little bit during those traffic times, you're going to be able to pay your way out of those. So there are toll lanes that are opening up on 485 that's going to alleviate some of that traffic. But traffic has definitely increased. 
Now, Charlotte continues to be one of the best driving cities in the United States. You can look it up online and I can tell you from firsthand experience, it's a great place to drive. Just during those rush hour times, it gets a little funky sometimes. And speaking of driving, I'm also finding a little bit more aggression on the highways and on the roads. And not for me in particular, but it seems like there's a lot more tailgating than I have ever experienced here last couple of years. I don't know what's going on with the tailgaters. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know, but you guys got to stop the tailgating. Uh, a lot of those pickup trucks, a lot of those Ford F-150s, a lot of those are, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're guilty as charged. Not everybody, but I'm finding a lot, a lot, a lot of tailgating. Don't know what's happening there, but it's not something that I had experienced since I've been here for the last 12 years. In general, people are still very polite. People are gonna let you in. People are gonna let you make a right-hand turn. They're gonna hit the brakes. They're not gonna be nasty. They're not gonna speed up on you. But it is turning a little bit, which doesn't make me happy. Another thing that bugs me is that people are not being as courteous as they used to be. They're still very nice, very kind. But for instance, like putting your cart away at Costco, when you go to your car and you put your stuff in the car and then you put the cart away, here it used to be 100%. 100% everybody put their cart away. Now, not so much. I'd say maybe 85 to 90%, which is not a good change because it's just kind of like a feeling that things are changing along with that traffic and with that tailgating. Just kind of quality of life things are changing a little bit from my perspective. Here is another con, and this may be a biggie for you. Charlotte ain't cheap anymore. Let me say that again. It's not inexpensive to come and live in Charlotte. For those of you in the Northeast in New York who are calling me and saying that they want a house with an acre of land, with a pool, with 4,000 square feet in a nice neighborhood in the best school districts, blah, 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 next to all the shopping, and they have $500,000 that's burning a hole in their pocket. That ain't happening anymore. Let me just tell you, $500,000, that ain't happening anymore. You're not getting the mansion for 500,000, 600,000, 800,000, even a million, it's going to be tough. Right now, starter homes, new homes, new home construction, thankfully we have new homes, but you've got to look at about $500,000 to start. So that's a con. That wasn't always like that. Three or four years ago, prices were different. In addition, buying a resale home, increasingly difficult, highest and best bids, multiple offers, homes, on the market literally for a day and they are going for over asking. We have essentially a two week supply of homes. So if you're looking for a home, just know that Charlotte ain't what it used to be, which is a con because that was a big attraction for a lot of people to come down here and get a lot for their money. Right now, you're still gonna get a lot for your money compared to many, many other places, Seattle or LA or New York or Florida even, Florida is crazy. I've even seen plates from Alaska, Idaho. People are coming from everywhere. So we're all fighting for the same homes. Homes, some of them, I'm gonna do a video, but you can't believe the prices that some of these homes are getting. So that is a big con. If you are looking for a luxury home, a resale home, a home on the golf course, gated community, a custom home, or a new home in a pre-existing community. And if you think that you and I are a good fit, please feel free to reach out. My contact information is down below. For that free guide, go down to the link below, get that free guide. It tells you everything about Charlotte, its neighborhoods, and its schools. I thank you so much for watching. And until we see each other again, next time.